The incident was raised in the state assembly by the opposition MLA K Ranjit Singh. Uh, the T Satyabhat Singh, the leader of the house, said that the Manipur government is also taking necessary measure to restore peace in the state. He mentioned that there is a suspicion that some groups are trying to instigate by the IDPs, any internally displaced people, by politicizing their issue for their own benefit. Uh, I am joined by B L Vora, former Home Secretary and former DJP Manipur, Geeta Rani Takhalambam, Advocate Manipur High Court, Doctor. Tongolal Haukep, Assistant Professor, Centre for the Study Law and Governance, Major General Ashwini Srivach. Uh, let me straight away go to uh, Mr. Vora. Mr. Vora, th thank you all of you for joining me. Mr. Vora, my question to you is, do, do you think that you know the tipping point for the people who are internally displaced in relief camp is really the untold story of a misery in Manipur? Actually, see, <coughs> there's not one many tipping points. People are genuinely affected more than a year they are in refugee camps they want to go to their homes they are right as far as they are concerned but i think on the other hand administration has its constraint constraints of not of course manpower to take them or transportation to take them there but their safety once they go back whether there those people will be able to live safely in their own homes where they were once living now, there's a lot of, you know, politics involved. A lot of people take undue advantage of the entire situation. Now, as you quoted the chief minister saying that illegal, illegal immigration is the entire, the main issue. That, that is, of course, the crux of the problem. Now, there are so many fronts on which the government has to fight. Illegal, illegal immigration is one of the... Uh, conflict between the communities is second, the refugees being third. On the orders of the Supreme Court, as you are aware, a committee was appointed by a retired, I think, Chief Justice of the High Court, and they had suggested a lot of measures. But I must say the only lacuna is, an important lacuna is that effective steps are not being taken to handle all the issues which are involved in this conflict. There's a need for very hard decisions at the highest level with the such government, whether they're political or bureaucratic or social or peace initiatives. Now, I think this is what is lacking. And let me tell you why it is lacking. I have served in those areas for many, many years. See, politically, these are not important at all. Just two MPs in Manipur. Just hardly one or two in Tripura, Mizoram has one, Nagaland has one. So they have no political weightage. So for years and years they have been neglected. Now, unfortunately, because of this bad news coming from that, people in India know that Manipur is a part of India. But coming back to what you said, people are generally affected. I think their protest is there. In our call, it should have been allowed. But why it has not been allowed, we were not in the spot. It's easy to criticize. After all, if police forces have taken action in dispersing them and uh, using tear gas, there must be some reason. Maybe, see, they, they were crossing the line. Maybe it was not a peaceful protest. I think the solution lies in the government, the state government, and especially the central government, to take action. Now, I will suggest three measures. One, entire bureaucracy and police hierarchy should be changed, and they should have neutral people from outside the state. This is very, very important. As you know, when weapons were handed over, they were handed over, not looted. Many of them were handed over in thousands. Allegations were that officers of one community handed over literally the weapons to their own community guys. So this is one which is very, very important. Second is funds and monitoring at the highest level with a, some people authorized, given full responsibility to be stationed in Manipur by the central government with all the resources at their command to ensure that everything is implemented. The present bureaucratic structure, the administrative structure is not going to deliver votes. And thirdly, I would say some hard political decisions are also needed. If you ask me, maybe president rule for one year may be a solution. 
and you have advisors who are totally neutral who are very competent